okay so uh, we'll we'll revise the all the hana administration related topics here right so here sap hana administration points like important important points are important technical discussion points here which are the important here so okay hana administration related here so normally if i talk about the hana administration related important things here so uh, we need to first of all the first class we discussed about the introduction about the hana hana is a in memory column oriented columnar database here right it has only columns columnar tables only but it has row store tables also but in the row store table uh, system configuration will be stored in the row store tables here the business data will be stored into the columnar store tables here business data columnar store tables here okay so that is the one of the important thing here okay so apart from that apart from the system configuration we discussed about the so in the installation part list of sap hana file systems list of sap hana file systems here and sap hana file systems here list of hana file systems means so here it's called the root right root and usr sap then slash hana shared then slash hana data then slash hana lock so these are the list of five types of file systems and also the os related file systems are then we have the slash home right slash home slash home slash swap slash var slash temp so these are the so list of os related specific slash temp home so var so and uh, yeah these are the uh, specific to os specific to os related file systems operating system os related so file system specific to the os related file systems these are the os related specific file systems here these are the hana related specific file systems here and also the recommended sizes also it's called the root is the 10 gb usr scp is the 50 gb then slash na shade is the so one into ram size how much is the one into ram size this much of ram size then slash na data is the three three into 3 into RAM size, then, then we have log is the off by 2, off by 2, off, off by 2 of RAM size. Or RAM size is the 1 terabyte, then 512 GB is the, so here, then off by 2. So max, we can take it the 512 GB for the, your log folder size maximum, we can take it out here, right? These are the recommendations for the, so HANA file system recommendations here. So these are the recommendations we have to follow, guidelines we have to follow from the here when you are doing the installation here. So and also the operating systems, what are the operating systems? So the OS versions, it should be latest, it should be latest here, should be the latest OS version and OS kernel, OS version and OS kernel should be the latest kernel and the latest version here, latest kernel version here. And also in the OS, specific RPM packages. I mean to say RP specific files here, RPM packages here. That is called the compact C++, compact C++, GCC. So uh, GCC. So yeah, these all are the, these are the main, so OS specific RPM packages we have to install it. In the, how, in the Windows level, how will you install the GCC, runtime libraries, all those things here. Here also we have to install the, the specific specific file, suppose like VC runtime, VC, there is a C++. So Java, .NET framework, Java, how we will install it. Same way, here also in the Linux level, we have to install the compact C++ and GCC libraries, we have to install it here. If it is the Red Hat Linux, we have to, uh, if it is the SUC Linux, we have to use the zipper command. If it is the, so Red Hat Linux, we have to use the yum install m install zipper or m we have to use for the red hat linux we have to use this command and this one so installation we have to start from installation installation so we have to start from so root user root user yeah root user is the very important here root user is the very important for the 
so this one here root user is a very important for here right so then so then so installation log files installation log files where can we check here that is called the slash where under the temp under the slash var temp here the installation log files are located here slash where temp here installation log files are located here right so then apart from that installation then administration then we discussed about the after the installation we discussed about the so how to add the systems into the hana studio like which port and uh hana studio port hana studio while adding the hana studio there is a port number three so instance number 15 is the port number 15 is the port number for port number for adding the hana studio means hana studio will connect to the sap system using the so three instance number 15 port number it will connect it here so three instance number 15 port number you can check it in the ana studio in the property section you can check it out all those things here right so that is the port number here here the main tab main thing is here hana so performance tab ana performance tab here in the performance tab so the threads the threads sessions are very important here threads and sessions are very important here in nana studio here why because in the threads and sessions are very important whenever you connect to the hana database one thread is opened one session is so one thread each thread one session is opened or allocated to you each session there is a multiple threads will be used means after you log into the hana system then you will do the multiple activities right then each activity one thread will be assigned so when you log in your login session one session will be allocated here so the performance tab is very important to track so if any performance issues we can go to the performance tab then there we can check it out the all kind of issues and everything here right so here here we discussed about the so in the hana studio so here uh, the process hana process we have the hana seven core process we have in the hana hana seven four processes we have in the HANA by default you will get here right so one is the index server name server preprocessor right so then compile server web dispatcher access engine so then daemon daemon so this seven process we will get from the here in out of seven so two process are two two process HANA process are in the two HANA process are in two HANA process are in two HANA process are in the so where two hana process are in the so tenant tenant uh, tenant yeah tenant db right tenant db and so remaining five are in the remaining five remaining five are in remaining five are in the system db so system db will monitor the all the tenants system db responsible for system db will responsible for responsible for so monitor the monitor the all the all the tenants tdbs and uh, tenant dbs here so if you want to take the backup backup we have to take from so system db right so restore restore also restore also we have to do it from so system db right then so parameter changes any suppose if you want to change the parameter changes parameter changes so we have to do it do it configuration system 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 mm -hmm. and a configuration tab yeah if we go a little bit more in the configuration tab here right so here few parameters are restart is required few parameters are restart is not required that we know how to get that one right if the true or false right if the restart status is true we have to do the restart the parameter set is not then it is called the false then we no need to restart the system here so that is the one thing here so then in that one diagnosis files in the OS level trace directory so that is the one of the important log files here the studio level your main thing is called the configuration tab performance tab then landscape tab these are the tabs are very important in the studio level studio level these are the very important here so one more thing here coming to the troubleshooting part troubleshooting troubleshooting here right troubleshooting here troubleshooting point of view 
here the main thing is the the voice level trace directory trace directory voice level trace directory here you can go to the cd trace or there is a path here usr they will ask you the path usr sap sid then hdb instance number slash then so host name host name, host name slash so trace trace so you can use this trace path here you will get the so log files here each and every process related log files here otherwise so hana studio in the hana studio there is a tab called the diagnosis files here diagnosis diagnostic files diagnostic files here so diagnosis files here so there in the folder in the diagnosis folder you will get the all the log files here so that will come from the os level trace directory only that will come from the os level trace directory only here that is called the diagnosis log files here right troubleshooting point of view the one more thing here the troubleshooting point of view so if any errors or any issues the trace directory is a very important to troubleshoot it here you can find out the all the issues and everything here all the issues and everything here if it is not the hana specific if it is not the hana specific the os level log files the os level log files like os related os related log files os related log files are normally here in the slash where log r slash where the messages here you can find out the the os specific errors here not only sap related os specific errors here os specific os specific errors you can find out from here os specific errors here right slash where log slash where messages here you can find out the operating system related errors here if it is the windows if it is the windows windows we know right if it's a windows event weaver event weaver is the where we can check the operating system level suppose like if i go to the event weaver any in your laptop or suppose os you will see the so errors all the errors and everything you will find out from here all the errors and everything you will find out here so what are the errors what are the critical errors so then what are the application errors here we have so how is the system is behaving operating system is behaving is there any issues with the in the on top of operating system is there any issues with the, any application so all those things will be located so right here normally if anything os related normally we will check with the anything that related os administrator we will check with them so here also here but if you have some operating system knowledge this will be helpful this log files will be helpful if it is the windows event weaver if it is the operating it is the linux then you can check the this files here it is the hana you can check the this one if it is the sap sap what is the folder to check the trace logs for troubleshooting perspective work directory yeah work directory right <laughs> work directory work directory is a very important so yes r s a p s i d then d instance number work directory yeah. that is the very important right this is the troubleshooting perspective you need to remember all those things here right it's a very important as part of the troubleshooting they will ask you these questions so the next one i guess you know delta merge right so delta merge con delta so merge concept here delta merge concept here in the delta merge concept means so we know right already we discussed about the delta merge like moving the data from once the transaction is committed that, to it will move to the the persistency main memory persistency main memory then once it is moved to the persistency main memory then after 5 minutes the data will be moved to the main memory to the disk level disk level disk means level. persistency data layer data layer so in hana language persistency data persistency storage persistency storage persistency storage means someone ask you some typical questions persistency persistency storage persistency memory memory means it's a ram memory in memory concept here right then persistence storage means slash ana data slash ana data and log are the slash ana data and log slash ana data and log are the the persistence storage and persistence memory is the this one in the hana language persistency normally we will call it as the persistency here then we discussed about the save point also 
the data will be moved from the main persistence in memory to persistence storage. This operation is called the save point. This will happen every five minutes once. Five minutes once, this will happen here in the HANA level, right? So that is the one thing. So one more thing is here. Then uh, once that is completed, then stop and start, you know, right? We discussed HPB stop. So Ravi, you would say persistent storage and memory is the same, right? Both are same. No, no, both are different. Persistent storage is different, memory is different. Okay, store storage is for the data and memory is for the in memory. In memory. So then uh, we discussed about the so backups. Backups also we discussed, right? Hana backups. We have the three types of backups. Then so Hana restore point in time restore and so specific point specific point specific backup so point in the up to up to uh specific levels up to up to, up to time stamp specific time so and the restore so this one we can restore it but this we have to do it from the system db using the system db mm -hmm. we have to do it from the this backups and the restore we have to perform it here so backup should be consistency status here backup should be consistency status here so otherwise we cannot we cannot so restore the here then how can i check whether my backup is consistency or not so there is a command hdb hdb so backup diag hdb backup diag space at os level verify i think verify verify or check some command we have to use it so that it will check the consistency, whether your backup is consistency or not, it will check it out here. So this is the HDB backup diag. So, so it will backup check something like that. There is a command, it will verify or it will check the your backup status here, whether the backup. So one more thing while restoring it on, while restoring the data backup, suppose the example, you are in the source version, you are in the target version here, right? So your source is HANA, your source is HANA 2.0 SPS 05. Your target is HANA 2.0 SPS 06, right? Both are different. You are taking the backup of the 05 and will you restore on the 06? That is the one of the important questions they may ask you. You have, no, to, you have to take the backup and you have to restore it on the Higher versions. Higher versions. Doubt, uh, top to bottom is possible, but not to top to, to top to. So, yeah, it will work uh, wrong. Why? Because lower lower version of the back yeah, would work, but higher version, but, but vice versa, it's not working. Like that's that's the thing I said, right? From top to bottom, we, we don't do it. Yes, yes, yes. From taking the backup of the 0, 06. Higher version. This story okay, won't work. This bit won't work here. From take the backup of the 05, you can yeah, just go it. to here to And also, same the replication scenario, also the replication scenario, also. So, so lower to lower to higher, it will work. Lower to higher, it will work. Then, higher to lower, it will it will not work yet. Higher, lower to higher. Higher to lower, it's, it will not work. The replication scenario, it won't work. That is the one thing. Lower to higher work. Why? Because when the HANA HA systems, when you are upgrading the systems primary and secondary without breaking the replication, what we are doing? First, we are doing the upgrade on the secondary. secondary. Then that's why secondary is the higher. Then the source is the primary is the lower. Right? Then that time replication works. So this concept, this will work. I'm sure. So lower to higher. So just you can you can take the water flow. Water flow will happen from higher to low, right? So ana is the reverse order. Ana is the reverse order. So whenever you go any so river or normally uh, water, normally how the water flow will happen? Always the water flow will happen higher to lower level, right? So higher to higher level, higher to lower level means upside nunchi downside downside ko the ante ettu pallam nunchi digu pallam varikate work out avuthu anamata normal ga mana palle tourlo maatladukunna kada oka kaalavu lo higher nunchi lower level ke neel anedi floating avuthu anamata right At the same time same time so here also that is a reverse order of the hana replication data replication data 
replicating so uh, lower to higher will work so higher to lower will not work that is the con that's why first we cannot do the so primary if you are in the kinetic case you need to break the replication first here then you have to do the primary then secondary you have to do you need to reconfigure the replication okay so that is the concept we have to use it here so here the replication modes that's when we already discussed in detail so sync right sync then sync mem so then a sync and also uh, operation merging these are so and also operational modes and replication modes we have discussed right delta delta data shipping delta data shipping then log replay log replay continuous log replay on the your secondary standby node here that is the one thing here so here the linux cluster packages are very important so we already discussed this one that's why i'm not going to go in detailed way here right so here for the cluster normally we have the clusters actually to move the data from primary to secondary sorry whenever in the ha concept we have the primary and we have the secondary right secondary host primary os and secondary os here so here you have the deployed the hana system here also you have deployed the hana system so then so here something is happens automatically the failover will happens to the primary to secondary right automatically the failover happens to the primary to secondary the failover happens here primary to secondary here right primary to secondary the failover happens here so in case in case the failover happens from the primary to secondary the failover happens here so in case something automatic failover automatic failover means without any manual intervention the takeover will should happen here in that case what we have to do in the os any the os specific the os is providing the some of the packages that is called the cluster packages that is called the cluster os level cluster which means here the coro sync pacemaker stonit stonit device so these three will help this coro sync pacemaker and stonit these three packages we have to install at the operating system level these three packages will help to move the services from primary to secondary automatically without any manual intervention which means if something is happens in the primary automatically the failover the automatically this resources means ferrosing the face maker will move the services from here to here then all the connections will reconnect to the your secondary host secondary host here so that is the concept will be do by the your cluster so if someone ask you do you have any idea about the so os clusters especially for the linux clusters yes we have so here what packages are which one will help right in which here you need to tell like coro sync face maker the stonit these are this will help to move the to move the services from primary to secondary here primary to secondary here this will help here so apart from that apart from that scenarios scenarios based questions we may get sometimes here scenario based questions so, uh, so in hana what exactly happens in hana so if any memory shortages in hana if any memory issues in a memory memory issues so definitely definitely there is a there is a out of memory dump we will get here and and index server index server will be restarted index server will be restarted automatically if any automatically if any memory clutch any memory issues in the hana so definitely there is a om dump and index server will be restarted so we need to find out whether whether backups are sometimes whenever the your backups are backups are running system will be slow whenever the save point sometimes save point happens so at the same time you have the delta merge also happening so delta merge also happening so then there is a there is a slowness there is a slowness in the system slowness in the system here sometimes sometimes long running long running 
SQL statements, long running SQL statement will cause the SQL statements will cause the slowness, slowness in the system. There are multiple things. Long running SQL statement means so one person, one user is executing something in the front end instead of dialog mode is executing in the front end or the query the user initiated does not have any filter conditions or that is the old version it is keep on consuming the lot of table data 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 then definitely there is a memory issue here in the systems right so there are many many ways system will be slow so many performance issues we may face it because of the save point because of the backup because of the delta merge because of the long running sql statements so because of the user transaction because of the sap jobs because of ana jobs because of the performance because of so user so user executions user tasks many things many several factors will cause the ana performance issues so if anyone ask you you need to explain in detailed way in detailed way so so you need to explain one scenario also you need to remember the scenario and you need to explain the scenarios also here right so that is the one thing here that is the one thing in the systems here right scenario selection apart from that apart from that apart from that so hana upgrades hana upgrades so let's talk about the upgrade point of view here also and when you are doing the upgrade so os version is up to date right you say up to date os version the package is also up to date here and also yeah package is also up to date just directly you can download the patches we can update it here so make sure once you upgrade it we cannot de downgrade we cannot downgrade so there is a way to downgrade it but that is not the suggestible approach that is not the suggestible approach here why because if you take the backup before the upgrade then if you upgrade it if you restore it then backup will be restored but the, uh, the upgraded version will not be restored ensure that one upgraded version version will not be restored it will be the same if you are upgrading means definitely you need to fix the upgrade we cannot go back we cannot continue you have to fix the issue then only you can continue it continue further right we can continue after fixing the issues so that is the ana upgrade version so here hana installations are ana installations are hana upgrades we have to do it from the hdb lcm tools ana database life cycle management management tools here ana database life cycle management tools we have to use it here in this life cycle management tools we can perform the installations we can perform the uninstallations all those things here right so there is a one more thing is called the resident hdb lcm so that is available in the slash ana shared sid under that we have the hdb lcm tools here this is for the post installation activities after the ana installation post installation activities here so suppose like if you want to update the components if you want to rename the hana rename the ana sid so if you want to unregister so if you want to register the hana we want to add the host so multiple things we can do it in the resident hdb lcm resident hdb lcm will come after the installation normal hdb lcm will come as part of the your installation package so they may ask you what is the difference between the hdb lcm and the resident hdb lcm here hdb lcm will come as part of the resident hdb lcm will come as part of the so installation package download file then resident hdb will come after the installation you will get so normal hdb lcm we can do the installations upgrades then uninstallations and everything here but resident hdb lcm we can perform the post installation activities like sld reconfigurations sld rename unregister register updating the components so adding the roles post roles changing the roles so many things we can perform it here right so that is the one thing we should know about the hdb lcm tools here then hana 
1.0 to 2.0 upgrade procedure that one we discussed already so there is a note we have to follow the mainly thing is the we have to run the scripts first of all we have to run the scripts to convert to convert and also to convert and and so and also to separate the separate the so persistency storage persistency storage here in the 1.0 the persistence storage is clubbed included but in the 2.0 the persistence storage is separated here that's why we have to execute the some command some scripts we have to execute it here then you can follow the hdb lcm tool for the installation here there is a specific based upon the source version in the ana 1.0 the specific steps we have to perform as per the note we have seen that one right that is the one thing here so apart from that normal stop and start procedure restore daily monitoring activities so we can check it out here backup space levels right storage space levels all those things we can check it out as part of the daily monitoring here right alerts critical alerts everything we will receive it here then once it is critical alerts we received so then cpus cpus related things we can check it out here then parameter changes diagnosis well these are the main things in the hana database so these are the main things we should we should know right so we should know each and every that if you go these many questions they may ask you in the hana database side in out of 30 minutes time they may ask you these many questions here okay we need to be careful here so apart from that in the hana studio you need to remember is like so how the why hana startup and startup and stopping timelines especially for the starting timelines whenever you start the hana it may take some time it may take some time so why so why means first of all the row store tables secondary index column store tables then roll forward and the roll back statements will happen here so all these steps should happen that's why whenever you execute the hana start it may take some time it may take some time here okay so that is the one thing here then parameter changes in which is the only so configuration tab configuration. Yeah. yeah let me show you here parameter changes i think that we discussed here uh, parameter uh, there is a in the hana nana studio there is a configuration tab there is a configuration tab here yeah, go configuration tab. In the configuration tab, we will change this, all those things here. Whatever we discussed and I uh, have a few more sessions in my uh, channel, you can see for HANA related important thing. If you prepare those things, definitely you can uh, get, you can, you can throw the interview here, all those things here. In the configuration tab, let me check if any, if anything is, any database is up and running or not. No, I guess. Yes, here it is enabled. So if I go here, you can ask me the operating system. It's not enabled, I think. some OS level commands. So remember that some OS level commands also here. Okay. Remember some OS level commands also very important here. So root, file system, CPU, memory related things, then folder permissions, groups. So those things are very important here. Those things you can remember all those things here. Stop, start, those things also you can remember. File system, fill levels and everything. Any other questions from anyone? No, apart from that, what we discussed. So, any anyone having any questions? Yeah. Uh, Ravi, recently in the DX overview, like the inter point of DX on the side. Which one? SLT and the DX. SLT, DX, okay. SAP related, yeah, yeah. SAP related topics. Okay. So, SLT, so SLT system landscape transformation. Oh, uh, so, not from SAP, from uh, like data, SLT. Data, you have done, yeah. data provisioning, right? Data provisioning. Yeah. 
data provisioning. Okay. So data provisioning in the HANA means it's kind of like pulling the data from the other non-HANA databases. So data provisioning, data provisioning here. Pulling the data from the non-HANA databases here. Using the data, we can create the one connection to the, suppose, in your data, suppose if your company wants to use the HANA database, if the company wants to use the HANA database, they don't want to install all the, in the suppose like a 50 sub 20 sub HANA databases, they want to use it, procure the license and everything, right? In that case, so you have you have low, low budget. In that case, you have already in the SQL server, you don't want to use the HANA, but you want to use the sidecar scenario, which means you have only one HANA database, you have the other database also available here. In that case, we can create the remote connections. That is called the remote database. So this is the HANA. You have the SQL server is available. Suppose you have the Oracle also available in your company. So you can create the one remote connection using the data provisioning concept. You can create the remote connection to the your respective databases. Then just you can log into the here. So then you can create the virtual tables, VT, virtual table concept. You can pull the data from the so other other non-HANA databases. You can pull the data. You don't need to log into the here. You don't need to log into the here. You, need, you, have, you don't need to get the data. You don't need to get the data, club it, merge it, do the analysis and everything. Just in HANA, we have the option to analysis, just merge it. Why? Because the developers is required to merge the data of the your transactional data and analytical data, all those things. So that's why so he, he will log into the just to HANA database. He will use the HANA database, the high speed functionality, then he can do whatever he wants. So that's why they will use the data extractor, data provisioning topics here in the HANA studio. We have the options here. The only thing concept is... The concept integration, and integration. Uh, integration concept. The only thing is here we required is, so you, you need to have the some other non-HANA databases and HANA databases. Here we have to create the source connection. Some uh, drivers we have to install it here. Some drivers we have to install it here. Then once the drivers, OS level drivers, we have to install it. Then we can perform the configurations. That is the one thing here. So configurations perspective, drivers must and should be installed. Suppose like ODBC drivers or JDBC drivers or Unix drivers. So we can have to install it. So if it is the JDBC, JDBC or ODBC, Oracle database, Java database, and also Unix ODBC. So Unix ODBC, HANA. So there is a drivers, OS level specific drivers, means specific plugins. We have to install it to achieve this configuration here. To achieve this configuration, these plugins, we have to install it in the HANA systems. So I think which system is available to perform this configuration here. Let me check that system. I think we have MRT. MRT is there. What is the instance number? 17. SAP Linux what? Wrong password. I'm not sure who installed this one. It's a wrong password. Password is wrong. Okay. So that is the specific configuration. One is the DP agent. One more thing is the instead of you are providing the connect, connecting to the here, installing the drivers and everything here, there is a new concept is called the DP agent configuration. DP agent is has. So there is a multiple option. This is only data provisioning technique only for the database to database database to database here dp agent is for the how the dp agent works i will give you the overview here i will give you the overview here dp agent but only rare cases the people will use this is about this is the one of the database here right this is the hana database here you have the hana database concept here right so you have the Suppose like some customer, some owners, they will place the files into the one of the folder, right? So this is a folder level, means file-based, file-based adapter. Then we have the multiple adapters here. 
suppose like some people they will place the into the sap folder level sap folders level file system level sap file system means sap job will run it will store the data into the one excel file means so your customers related pricing related data will be stored in sap file systems sometimes so there is a hana database level multiple ways right so here we have the dp agent configuration which means same data provisioning only data provisioning is the db to db right so database to database suppose i have some data data in the os level some folder my c drive or d drive i have folder what i can do here in this specific here i will install the one dp agent one dp agent is a small service same as like sap host agent we will install the dp agent here here one more dp agent here one more dp agent i will install it here suppose like in my laptop i have all the zoom recordings are there in my laptop right i want all this recording should be moved to the in my hana database it's in the c zoom meeting it's want to move to the my hana database there is a specific table i want to move it right so i want to move the my data to the here this is the file so then in the dp agent level what i will do i will enable the file adapter i will enable it here the dp agent configuration then i will connect this dp agent to sorry i will connect this dp agent to my hana system here also sap file system here also i will install the one more dp agent i will install i will connect to the my hana system this is also here also i will install and the dp agent we can install it either windows anywhere we can install it even except mobile so anywhere in the mac or your os linux anywhere we can install it so that i have mapped my system here here i have my zoom recordings also i will give the source path to the here then i will give the target path is the one of the database table level i will give the schema and everything here so if i i will schedule it here all the data whatever there here all the data will be moved to the here one pipe you are creating all the data if the new data comes it will be moved to the here for new data comes it will move to the here when data comes it will move to the here same as like here also same as like here also so that is called the dp agent configurations dp agent so data provisioning agent dp means it's not like that new word it's a data agent dp dp agent configuration this one we have to connect to the our hana server so this is also one of the new concept in the hana rare cases the customers will go for this configurations here okay so suppose we have the data in the sap non sap or some other folder sometimes what we will do the store managers the store keepers suppose in the project what, what they will do they will they will keep the data into the one of the centralized location their stores related information or suppose like the shops kirana shops and stores what they will do one the day once the day is ended all the transactions of everything they will keep into the one or well, somewhere some place in excel some place here so uh, if you install the dp agent on that machine so what you have to do just you can pull the that excel the excel data will be loaded into the centralized one hana server here right each shop we cannot go with the install the each shop we cannot go ahead and install the one separate database right one centralized for that one database we will install it so all the data we will push to the here hana database it will store the data here so that kind of thinking we can do it here suppose in our case also all my recordings are saved to save it into the zoom meeting link here so if i install the dp agent in my laptop so then what i will do i will do the some configuration here i will map this dp agent configuration to the one of the hana database in the table level so that it will go and it will store the data into the table level right that is also possibility right so that is why should i use so why why can't i save the my data here the database level so i can use the my hana database also right so that is also possible whatever the data so right so we can use it here that is called the dp agent configurations we can use it here so here data provisioning server dp server we have to enable it here then there is a multiple activities we have to do it here but the concept is this is the concept to so use the dp agent here okay డాక్యుమెంట్ ఏదైనా ఉందా అండి ప్రతి ఇంటర్వ్యూలో ఈ క్వశ్చన్ అయితే అడుగుతున్నారు ఇంటిగ్రేషన్ 
integration of hana with uh, different systems and is so different systems different yeah different remote systems remote systems means there are multiple ways like our data provisioning data provisioning yes document is there i will share the documentation okay i will share it i will share it we can also okay. perform it but we don't have other database that is the main thing here yeah. i think yeah. we have yes i think we have sql server in the windows and hana is there i think we can also achieve this configuration i think we can perform so our sap system is running on the sql server we have the so hana database stand alone hana database then we can also perform that this configuration right yes we can we can also do that one i think yes we can try that one we can also try okay. otherwise i will take one class for this integration also don't worry yeah uh, how to how to tune db cluster adutunnarandi tune the db cluster these are the yeah. uh, tools like i told you right pacemaker coro sync and uh, using these tools we can tune the db clusters means cluster packages i mean to say cluster packages we can use it here so here we can say like there is a maybe you can say like hawk url hawk url so see linux related cluster packages when you install the hawk package to see linux using the hawk url h a u k url so then we can adjust i mean to say in their language we can tune the so cluster param clusters we can tune the cluster hawk url there is a separate url for the hawk so so when you install the cluster it will generate the one url using this url we can do the cluster administration part in that administration part we have the option like tuning configuration of the parameters and everything just you can say using the linux cluster hawk hawk url. meet hawk means hawk. Uh, high availability i don't know what is exactly okay okay hawk url linux hawk cluster cluster you this is the cluster url i mean to okay. say cluster url so let's type it I, even i don't know what is the any, any specific naming convention here or not so let me check 